Lo siento, bebé Hola, ¿cómo estás? Buenos días. Today we are in Mexico. We are here to celebrate my birthday. We're also sprinkling in a little anniversary celebration as well. We're just here to celebrate life overall. Just have a great time, relax. So let me just give you guys a little recap. So we first flew into Cancun early this morning. There is not an airline in Tulum, so you will have to fly into Cancun. Once you fly into Cancun, there are three ways you can get here, okay? You could either rent a car, you can take the shuttle, you could either do a private or public shuttle, and last but not least, you can get a taxi. We decided to use a shuttle service called ADO just because we felt it was the safest and the cheapest way to get here. Once you leave the airport, the ADO service is literally right outside. Do not let the other taxis and the other services stray you, okay? We have people coming up to us left and right, asking us to come in their taxis, saying that they'll give us a better price. Everybody was just trying to come at us at the same time, but just stick to where you want to go, know where you want to go, and know what type of transportation it is that you're trying to use. The shuttle was 365 pesos per person, which converts to about $18 USD. The only thing I will say though, is it does take quite some time to get to your location. It took us about two and a half hours to get to Tulum because the Edo bus does make several stops, but overall it was a pretty good experience. But we just got here and checked into our first hotel of our trip. It's called Moto by Hilton in Tulum. This hotel is beautiful. The staff is super nice and we we're greeted with complimentary drinks. Let me just show you guys how beautiful it is, okay? Cue the B-roll.
As you guys just saw, the hotel looks amazing. The rooms are a bit small though, but it was done intentionally. Their whole vibe is just minimalism and they just try to make best use of the space. The biggest size bed that they have is a queen. So if you're traveling by yourself or with your partner, or if you don't mind snuggling up next to your friend, this will be perfect for you. But as I said, this is the first hotel we're staying at. The other hotel that we're staying at is slightly bigger, but it's just as beautiful. So we're super excited to stay there too. But yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and settle in, change up out of these clothes, and we'll check back in with you guys later once we go get something to eat. Hey guys, it is much later in the night. We've pretty much just been relaxing and exploring the hotel. We also went to go get some burritos for lunch at this restaurant that's downstairs. Burritos were amazing. It was like the steak burrito had some veggies in it with the spices on top, it was just chef's kiss. We're about to go get something to eat for dinner right now. We're just gonna go downstairs to a restaurant that they have here because we're honestly very tired and we're trying to hurry up and eat and come back upstairs so we can just get some rest so we are fully alert for tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. We just woke up. Our first night here was pretty good. We both had a great night's rest. One thing I will say though is that it was very difficult for me to shower without getting my hair wet. The little rainfall shower is really nice, nice and aesthetic. But if you are not trying to get your hair wet, that's definitely something to keep in mind. On today's agenda though, we are just going to be lounging around by the pool. Our goal for the first two days is to just purely relax and then all our activities start tomorrow. So I'm about to go ahead and get ready and then check in with you guys once I'm done. Let's just dance I'm on my mind 
Hey guys, I just wanted to come on here and update you guys. So as you guys have been seeing, we've just been relaxing outside by their little lounge area and by the pool. We took some pictures and we've been eating so good. Right now we're about to head to this little smoothie slash acai restaurant called Matcha Mama that they have here. The hotel provides some complimentary bikes. So we're just gonna take one of those and then bike there. This is probably my third little outfit change of the day, but I'm wearing this t-shirt from Zara and then it has the matching shorts. But yes, yeah, so we're just gonna head on out and take you guys with us. Look, currently biking through the city on our way to see if Matcha Mama is still open, which I doubt they are, but uh, we're going to try to make it. Um, but I don't know if, they, if they're going to be open, so we'll see. So we did find out that these bikes are not complimentary. <laughs> they are most not, certainly not free, but um, it's 200 um, pesos per day. So it's 400 for the both of us, but not too bad for the whole day. Look like this taco spot is jumping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Thank you. Gracias. 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 <laughs> hey guys, so as he already told you guys, the bikes were not free, but they were only 200 pesos um, per bike, which is about $10 USD. Um, also, Mantra Mama was closed. So we're gonna have to go there another day. So we just stopped at this ice cream shop called Aldo's. I got a hazelnut flavor and he got banana split. So good. And then we also just bought this cute little bracelet from these kids that stopped us on the street. <laughs> they were super nice though and super cool. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you have to support the kids. So yeah, we were yeah, they were out here hustling, you know what I mean? So hey guys, so we just got back. We're just in the room relaxing a little bit. We are only working with one seat here. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm just sitting on his lap right now. Um minimalist hotel. So <laughs> we only get what we need, which Exa is I guess exactly. one seat. <laughs> Macy is not about to let us sit on the bed with outside clothes. Exactly. So, <laughs> so um, yeah, so we're just chilling for a little bit. We're actually going to go get something to eat quickly um, and then come back. We're probably just going to eat something on the resort or on the hotel tonight. Everything at this hotel food wise has been 10 out of 10 to keep it above. Yeah, it the really burger has. burger was super good. Um, the steak was really good last night. Daisy, she, she probably, what'd you give it? Like a oh, the burrito? The steak, the steak taco. Oh, the steak tacos? She said um, she liked them, but it was something in it that like... Was, yeah, it was like a sauce in it that wasn't like my favorite. I'd probably was, give it, it a... To me. <laughs> I'd probably give it like... It was a seven. Like, it was still good. It was just that one sauce. It yeah. was like a specific taste that wasn't really my favorite. But that but guacamole last night, though. The guac was good. We had That's we ordered a plate of guac and chips. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it was, was so great. good. Yeah, everything been 10 out of 10. So <laughs> we've pretty much been eating dinner here. Well, not pretty much. We've eaten dinner mm -hmm. here every night. Um, so yeah, so... We're going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we're about to go ahead and go eat. Um, and then after that, we're going to try to take some night pictures. But if we don't check in with you guys for the rest of the night, we will definitely be seeing you guys tomorrow. We have something super excited planned. So, Good stuff. yeah. <laughs> so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. It is our third day here in Tulum. Today we're going to this museum called Sfurik or Sfik. However you pronounce it, I don't know. I'm gonna put it somewhere on the screen so you guys know where we're going. After that, we're gonna go check out their little Tulum sculpture park that they have. And then after we're gonna go to some beach clubs to just eat and just lounge around at the beach. Right now we're about to go get some breakfast quickly before we head out, but we're gonna show you guys our outfits first. So you can go first. Uh, got this nice little H&M top. It's like a towel E. Uh, type material, but it's nice, nice and soft. It might be hot, so it might come back to bite me, but it looked good, so that's what mattered. <laughs> um, I got, it's not really matching because it's not the same color, but it's like the, the white pant version of this, so the same kind of material, but feels really nice. And then I got the uh, the the Burka Zaras. 
on, uh, <laughs> which is basically Birkenstock, but you know, Zara brand. So, but yeah, they look just like them, so it don't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> and then for my outfit, I have on this little two piece set from Zara. The sleeves are asymmetric and it has this little ruched detailing. And then these are actually pants, but it has like a little extra overlapping here that makes it look like a skirt um and then don't mind the shoes i have some shoes to change into no just to walk around <laughs> <laughs> so just to walk around in for now but yeah that's the outfit fire 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 <laughs> so we're gonna head on out now and take you guys with us I said five in the morning. I wake up to five for my yearnings. Yeah, in my mind is a warning. Praying to the one you're relying. I've been wandering all day. Try to be fine, but I can't be. The noise in my mind would it leave me. Try to get by, but I'm burning. I'm behind. My mind is running. All these thoughts I'm troubling. Starting to give up my pain. What's going on, people? It's currently super hot outside. We are in line at the sculpture.
Hola, buenos dias, chicos. <laughs> um, as you guys have seen, it has been a whirlwind of a morning. <laughs> That's why we're just now able to talk to you guys. But um, it's been fun. Um, we went to the Flintstone type gym this morning, the, um, the Tulum jungle gym that you guys saw earlier. Um, make sure y'all go check out Daisy's TikTok for um, for those videos. Um, that was super fun, super cool. Something definitely different from what we have in the States because it's like all wood. Yeah, so we did that. And then we just had a great um, lunch brunch at uh, Botanica. Um, everything was super fresh. Um, everything was really good. Flavors are always good. Um, right now we're currently walking back. Ooh, trees. Currently we're walking back to the hotel to get ready to check out so that way we can head to our next hotel and best believe we'll definitely Thanks. be vlogging that and letting you guys know what our next hotel looks like and yeah uh we'll see you guys in a few hey guys so we just wanted to give you a little update i'm pretty sure the last time you guys saw us we just left that jungle gym and the botanica garden cafe which the food was absolutely amazing and the jungle gym was so cool because it was like you know like that flintstone vibe <laughs> <laughs> and then we checked out of our hotel at 12 o'clock right now it's about four o'clock and before we came to this hotel which we're about to show you guys but before we came here we stopped at starbucks to get our little souvenir those little souvenir cups yo we've been traveling uh this is our second destination uh <laughs> together and we collected a cup at the Starbucks in France mm -hmm. um, so everywhere we go we're gonna try to go to the, the nearest Starbucks and try <laughs> to get a cup but this is uh, our most recent added to the collection uh, there we okay, go okay there <laughs> super cute yeah so um, Daisy actually put me on to this because I didn't even know Starbucks did this <laughs> but um, yeah I think it's like a cool little tradition that we do so just everywhere we go we collect the expensive Starbucks cup <laughs> and uh, yeah it, it's worth it it's, it's worth the memory so but yeah so we just checked into this hotel and you guys it's absolutely beautiful I know I've been saying that a lot but I'm telling you this hotel is so beautiful and it's literally five times the size of the last one yes which is very surprising because this one costs way less than the last hotel we stayed yeah. at which we're definitely <laughs> not complaining about ideally it's for bigger parties but we've really booked it for the aesthetics and it's our last few days so we kind of wanted a different vibe this one has more of like that jungle feel and the other one is more modern so let's go ahead and give you guys a little tour of this mtv crib mtv welcome to my crib <laughs> wasn't expecting you but why wouldn't you be here first as you guys can see got the lavish seats Cool gray tone, you know, it gets a little hot in Mexico, so you know, gotta have a little cool tone to cool us down. Uh, big fan up here, nice ceiling fan, remote control, air conditioning. Y'all haven't seen that yet. Coming out in 2027, don't worry about it. Um, here, lavish uh, dining area, nice long table for you and your guests to dine in. Seat six, if I'm not mistaken. Um, as you guys can see, large patio area, nice indoor outdoor living. Um, it does get a little hectic at night with the mosquitoes, so we're keeping this closed for now, but um, good option if you want it. As you can see, nice kitchen, gas stoves, state of the art. This was imported from Chef Ramsay himself, actually. He actually sent this as a gift. So uh, along with these knives, these knives are, they come together, it's a set. Um, as you can see, nice uh, stainless steel refrigerator for maybe, maybe it is, maybe it's not, who knows. Um, here you have the state-of-the-art bathroom, state-of-the-art appliances, nice, uh, nice little Pueblo-esque details, colors look immaculate. Uh, you got the, the shower all glass, um, got a little breeze coming in from the window, you know. Uh, take in some of the, the, the Mexican air. Nice uh, 
what's this eco-friendly toilet here um and yeah that's uh that really concludes the, the the first floor you know you can't really ask for much more it's very spacious and uh yeah we're gonna move on to the downstairs now watch that So now you're greeted by this huge king size bed. Might be a super king, who knows? Um, but yeah, definitely enough for uh, four people, but you know, it's only two of us, so plenty of room, plenty of space. Um, another nice door here for indoor, outdoor living. You know, you can't get much better than that. Sometimes you just need to soak up some natural air. You know what I mean? We're, we're inside too much nowadays on technology. You can get out here and really just disconnect, you know what I mean? Um, again, state of our air conditioning, remote control. You haven't seen this. You don't have to get up to go to the, to the thermostat. You don't have to do that no more. 2027, watch out for it. Got a nice little plant there. Um, you know, that's growing. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, who knows. Um, here we got this uh, nice little Aztec sculpture. Um, I purchased this for 1.1 thousand, hundred, million, billion, who knows. Um, here we got a nice little security system, you know, gotta watch out for the people then, because you know, we, like I said, stay on the, the biggest thing on the block, so. Uh, and here we are to the last bathroom, two bathrooms again, nice Pueblo accents inspired by the, uh, the Mayans themselves. Um, nice glass shower, nice, um, what we got here, waterfall faucet from the top. Haven't even seen that yet, have you? I didn't think so. Um, again, eco friendly toilet, um, toilet tissue, nice and folded, ready for your use. And then we got a nice little trash bin here, made out of the, the finest wood. And then we currently have a uh, guest room that we're uh, renting out right now, but we, we can't really go in there right now because, you know, we don't invade people privacy like that. But, um, yeah, y'all let me know. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a light fee. Uh, DM for serious inquiries only. Um, and just let me know. We got plenty of space here. And... Um, yeah, that, um, that will conclude this tour, um, you know, I would love for you guys to stay, but um, like they always say, you ain't got to leave, but uh, unless you, you're paying the fee, you got to get out. But thanks for touring, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you enjoyed that little MTV segment. But right now we're about to go ahead and get ready. We have dinner reservations tonight at this place called Rosa Negra. It's supposed to be really good. So we are looking forward to it. But in the meantime, go ahead and enjoy this B-roll footage that we got from the outside of the hotel. Hey guys, we just finished getting ready and we are about to head to dinner. We don't wanna be late, so we're gonna quickly show you guys our outfits. So I have on this beautiful dress from Zara. I also have this pearl bag that I also got from Zara. And then I have some heels in the bag. I'm just gonna wear slippers on the way there. <laughs> and then I got this nice little white top from uh, H&M. Gray pants, H&M. And then I got my Zirkin stocks on. All right, so yeah, as I said, we don't want to be late, so we're trying to hurry up and get there. So I will see you guys once we get there.
Hey guys, good morning. It is our last full day here in Tulum, but we're going out with a bang. Today we are going to ride some ATVs. We are going to see one of the sea and go in and swim in one of the cenotes. And we're also gonna go zip lining. So that should be a very exciting. We will definitely not be able to bring the vlog camera. So we're gonna try our best to get as much footage as we possibly can on our iPhones. So for our outfits quickly, I have on this Skims swim top and the matching swim shorts. And then he has on uh same little bucket hat nice little amazon finds little uh white g-man and then we got the uh, nice little little uh whatever you want to call these type shorts swim trunks there we go yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then just the easy slides Hey guys, we just finished riding the ATVs and right now we are heading over to the zip line areas to go and do that. I tried my best to get some good clips for you guys. So hopefully you guys were able to see and kind of experience it with us. <laughs> Each one of you guys gonna pinch a little bit and you're gonna throw it to the fire like this. You see that? And the mind the lead guy, that's the way to release and burn all the bad energy, negativity, bad juju, bad vibes, burn it. We don't need it and we don't want it. Right guys? Look, look who in the nose, guys. <laughs> I'm tired already. Hold up. Oof. to the third and final I think zip line right now really got us hiking out here too they ain't put that on the on the list <laughs> they ain't put hiking out right here thin water shoes but it's all right me and my baby survivors we'll make it work ain't that right babe <laughs> so far it's been super fun got done with the ATVs that was super cool. Um, I was a little nervous for the first zip line because I was a little high. I'm not going to lie, but it was super fun. Uh, Daisy is ultimate warrior, so she was super excited. Um, wasn't scared at all for the first one. Um, and yeah, the second one was cool. And then, uh, yeah, we're just doing the third one now, like I said. So, yeah, we'll let y'all know when we at the Cenote. All right, you guys, we are... At our last zip line, and then we are going to be heading to the cenote, and then hopefully getting something to eat after because I am thirsty, I'm starving, and whew, I'm tired, y'all. 
This hike is no joke. This is this too. It's the entrance. That's the whole thing that we can explore. And that's why you guys wear a vest. Look, because we're going to go all the way in. Okay? So, you guys wear a vest. You can't take it out. Okay? Get, get deeper right here. Get to the ground. Get over there. Get deeper. We go back from five feet all the way to 35. Oh, gosh. Titan. Pictures. Okay? I'm glad you have your phones. I'm going to show you how to do the picture once we're inside. But don't use the flash on our phones. Okay? Why? You don't want to wake up fast. Oh, no. If you see them flying, you gotta cover your neck. It's freezing. It's baby, it's freezing. Well, to me, maybe I'm being extra. <laughs> it's freezing. Oh my gosh, babe, don't do that. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> Right now we are in the cenote. Um, we just finished with all the zip lines. Um, it's, it's cold in here. It's not that cold. Everybody was cold. It's not that cold. Um, but yeah, we in the caves. Nice cenote. Sacred to the Mayans. So uh, we're being respectful and we trying to watch out for the bats. But yeah, we're about to start the cold. It's called Jumha. Jumha is my word. Jum is God and Ham is water. Okay, Jumha. These places or cenotes for the natives, they were sacred because they used to believe it was a portal to the underworld, hmm. the Shivalwa. Also, because just look at the water, how clean and fresh it is. Okay, I know there's uh, a white thing on top of the water, white film. That is not sunshine, that is not lotion, that is mineral, that is calcium. Okay, so our floor, guys, is 80% limestone and calcium. Just look at Florida. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jamaica. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, so we don't have no, water on the surface, okay? <laughs> we don't have rivers, we don't have lakes, all the water that we have is on the ground. So these mm. are rivers, these are our lagoons, okay? Mm. Um, is this drinkable water? It was, well, it still is. Uh, oh, the Mayans, the natives used to drink it straight from here, mm -hmm. but 100, 200 years ago, we didn't have people swimming in here. Yeah, exactly. Okay? Yeah. We used lotion, we used sunscreens, even if it says, uh, eco friendly, mm -hmm. it still has oil, okay. Mm. So, you guys went in the shower for two seconds, you guys went like this, and that's it. So, we use a lot of chemicals, mm -hmm. so they're in the water, okay. Mm -hmm. So, that doesn't mean we don't use it. Mm -hmm. You guys are in Tulum, I in Playa, okay. But in Mexico, we're divided in states, just like you guys are. Mm -hmm. Mexico, we have 32 states. This was called Quintana Roo, okay. Tulum is a city, same thing as Playa, <coughs> but you're in the state of Quintana Roo. This water, uh, all the water that we use, your Airbnb, your resort, uh, the whole city, we get water from here. Yeah. I don't know if they will tell you, like, don't brush your teeth with the water, don't use your eyes, because mm -hmm. you get sick, right? It's not dirty, but you're not used to the minerals. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's why you can't brush your teeth with the tap water, because we get it from here. It's crazy. I mm. always do it. Yeah, Every country I go to, they say don't do it. Oh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I've been yeah. <laughs> <you're impressed> <laughs> <laughs> But that's why it's not dirty, guys. We don't drink it, but we still use it, you know? Mm. Our house, the same city, we'll get water from here. Okay, okay. that's what we ask you to rinse off a little bit to keep it clean. So, this cave is huge. Look, keep going and keep going. To do the whole cave, takes about an hour. Wow. Yeah. Eventually, it gets to an hour. And then you want to keep going, you're going to have to scuba dive. Mm. You're going to have to go underwater. And you're going to end up in a different cenote or a different cave called Caracol. Mm. Okay? Ooh. That little string is all the guys that need for us. Look, if you go that way, <coughs> it's really easy to get lost. Everything looks the same, all the rocks look the same, so it's really easy to get lost, okay? So you're gonna find a little string, and you're gonna find the way out, mm -hmm. okay? There's one string on the water, and that's the scuba divers. They attach your own line, mm -hmm. and then they explore the cave. Look guys, rock formations that are growing from top to bottom, these are called stalactites, and growing from bottom to top, like this one right here, these are called stalagmites. And you're never gonna see a stalagmite, we have a stalactite on top. Mm -hmm. Imagine there's no water here, right? What's gonna happen? Look. See, that little drop is touching that one. Okay. Imagine the water. The so that, that little drop is falling on top of the other one. Imagine <coughs> that little drop touching the top, the other one, uh, every two minutes for a thousand years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I have a couple of inches of rock formation. This one. Pretty cool because I don't know if you guys see the water. <clears throat> it's dripping, it's active. 
Just an inch of rock formation, guys. Take that on you. Just an inch. Look. Nice and See that it's like hollow? Look. Mm. See the light goes through. So, so guys, come over here. Come over here. Yeah, guys, give me the, the best camera, iPhone 35. <laughs> <laughs> you guys buy an iPhone every month. So. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hey guys, good morning. It is officially our last day here in Tulum. We're actually about to head to the airport in a few minutes. But we just wanted to quickly sit down and give you guys a little overview on how everything went, just in case anybody is planning to come to Tulum or you guys want to do something similar to us. Once we got into Tulum, we checked into our first hotel, which was Moto. Honestly, staying after after staying at both hotels, that was probably our favorite hotel. Yeah. Everything was beautiful. The amenities were nice. It was very convenient um it, it was a little bit more expensive but yeah as i said you are paying for convenience um the hotel smelled nice that was yeah, just that, that, was, <laughs> yeah, that was that was probably one of the the highlights for sure is mm -hmm. the smell it had a very distinct like scent to it that you knew okay yeah this is this, this is, is Moto, the Moto yeah. Hotel. <laughs> like as soon as you walked in it's a nice smell we don't know how to describe it but it's very nice mm -hmm. um everybody there, there is super nice and if you don't feel like leaving the hotel constantly the food there is pretty good now once you're finally in tulum there are many ways to get around you're going see a lot of people riding bikes there are so many places to rent bikes people will be coming up to you constantly asking you if you want to rent a bike if you want to rent a scooter um, an a ATV taxi. a taxi yeah. there's so many ways to get around you can also get around with taxis which we did quite a bit it was about how much would you say um, per taxi? it was probably about I would say 300 on average. Just depends on how far you need to go. 300 pesos. Yeah, 300, <laughs> 300 pesos. Yeah, 300 pesos. So that's about what $15, 15 uh, yeah. a taxi. So it just depends on how far the commute is. Mm -hmm. How far? What time? And I feel I found that when the, when we went to the beach, which is the most popular area, they were mm -hmm. like slightly expensive. I feel like the most we paid was like 25. 30 yeah think? yeah I USD. think 30 yeah 25 think, 30 USD. 25 30 and I think the 30 was when we were coming back from having dinner at, at the beach club which yeah. is you know that's the most popular time but mm -hmm. besides that prices weren't too bad mm -hmm. I would recommend a bike if you are going to be local and you're mm -hmm. going to be using it all day but if you're just using it for one trip you'll probably end up paying the same amount if you get a taxi, taxi yeah. and, and you can get to your destination faster so yeah. just keep that in mind and the and one more thing the bikes when you rent them out you rent them out for the entire day um i would recommend if you have a student id bring your student id because other, a lot of them are going to ask you to leave your id with them for the entire oh, yeah, for cool. the entire day so make sure you bring your we just we don't want to leave our driver's license because sometimes when you go around you need your driver's license or maybe you just feel comfortable just keeping that on you so make sure you bring some type of student id or another form of id that you're comfortable just leaving there you can also pay a deposit too but just depends on where you go next we went to the i think it's called Sfik, Sfik, Sfik. i don't know I how to pronounce. say it the <laughs> museum the museum was beautiful um one thing i will say though is it is very it's very hot in there that's yeah. something we were not expecting well kind of but it's we were expecting it a little bit but it was very hot in there yes. there's a lot of people in there so if you want to go and you're trying to get the best content or maybe just the best experience for yourself yeah. try to go early because i'm telling you there's gonna be a lot of people there most people are there just taking everybody, pictures everybody everybody and, everybody was there taking everybody pictures. was there taking <laughs> pictures um you cannot wear shoes in there so they're gonna tell you to leave your shoes at the front i would mm -hmm. highly recommend you buy the tickets online or at least that's what we did and then yeah. we got student tickets make sure you yes. have your student id for student that ID, yes. um i believe it's like five ten dollars cheaper yeah um but they will definitely check your student id when you get there mm -hmm. and then also i wanted to bring the vlog camera in there to show you guys but <laughs> oh my goodness. you well we didn't know you have to pay it was, it was like it was a hundred dollars USD. A hundred USD. Two thousand, two thousand pesos. A hundred USD to bring a vlog, vlog camera, camera or some type of professional camera yeah. in there, but you could use your phone. So yeah, that's why I got the phone footage. is free. Yeah, phone the phone is free. is free. So I got you guys some content from my phone. But if you're thinking about bringing a big camera to get the best pictures, vlogging not yeah, happening. You will be spending at least a hundred dollars, depending yeah. on how many cameras you have to go in there. Also, it's not a big museum, so don't expect like the louvre like it's not a big expansive <laughs> museum like it's there's two floors you can walk upstairs it is a great experience though especially if you're taking pictures or you just want to say you went mm -hmm. um but yeah it's not a big it's not a big thing okay just keep yeah. that in mind next we went to the sculpture park and that was quite the experience <laughs> <laughs> um mainly there's the huge attraction that we all know of which is the art piece that has the chest open which is magnificent by the way mm -hmm. but 
we went super early and it was super hot outside. The line took us an hour to get through, and mind you, it's it's not a it's not a long line as far as like how many people, but mm -hmm. the time it takes because each person gets a minute um, to to take a picture, and you got to figure if you have parties of five, six, mm -hmm. ten people in front of you, and they're all taking pictures mm -hmm. individually, then they got to get the group picture, mm -hmm. and then the line is just so slow, and it was so hot. We we. Mm -hmm. We sweated out all of our clothes. Our clothes were drenched. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, so I do recommend because after, um, we'll get to that as well, but after we went to um, a beach club and then we were walking back um, to get a taxi, we actually passed by there and we saw how much shorter the line was. Mm -hmm. So if you do want to get a picture, I do recommend going later in the day because mm -hmm. less people will be there. Yeah. Um, but yes, if you are not prepared to stand in line, prepared to sweat, don't want to be hot, claustrophobia, any of that, <laughs> I recommend going <laughs> later in the day for sure. Next, let's talk about the beach clubs, okay? That's probably why a lot of people are going to come here is for the beach clubs. That's some of their main attractions. And trust me, it is beautiful. It's very nice. But make sure them pockets are heavy, okay? Make sure your pockets are heavy because these beach clubs are super expensive like i'm talking miami plus prices okay Thanks. you are looking to first of all pay for cover depending on where you go and you need to have a minimum spend of whatever it is the beach clubs that we were looking to go to was like minimum like 100 to 150 per person, per person. you had to, to spend to go in there which now that we're thinking about it if you're going to be there the whole day like if you're not necessarily like Jumping. beach club hopping like if you're going to be there the whole day that's not really bad you could eat stay there eat lounge out lounge around mm -hmm. um but if not yeah look to spend at least 100 150 per person minimum to eat so initially we were going to go to vagaloom and bagatelle right the moto hotel offers those two um beach clubs with no cover and no minimum spend mm -hmm. or so we thought great perk so we <laughs> we went to the beach club or we went to the beach strip right with a certain amount of pesos thinking okay cool like all we have to do is pay for our food there because there's no cover and there's no minimum spend yep. we pull up to, to vagaloon which is one of the beach clubs here we pull up there they, they find our name on the reservation and we're like oh yeah moto booked it whatever whatever mm -hmm. we get there and they're like oh yeah no you guys will have a minimum spend of 150 right and we're like wait what, what? <laughs> they just told us there's no minimum spend they're like yeah. what's going on and they're like no it's that's only like for the weekdays and it's only between a certain time it's not on the weekends which looking back on it that does make sense i guess they do have stuff going on on the weekends but like nobody told us this yeah, yeah. like <laughs> they said oh no don't worry like you're gonna go there no no cover no we we low-key think that the beach clubs and the hotels and the taxis, they, they, they all up. in cahoots. They clicked up. They, work, they working together because ain't no way. First of all, this is a fairly new hotel. Moto Hotel opened up, I want to say, within the last year. So everything's brand new, basically. Yeah. So you're telling me y'all don't know that they have a cover and everything. So Yeah, for the weekends. Yeah, yeah so anyway, so we didn't get to go there. We didn't end up going there because every, every meal... Okay, that's another thing. Every meal that we had here are some big portions okay so we pretty much shared because we wanted to try a little bit of everything so we pretty much just shared everything every meal together almost yeah. except for like dinner and stuff so we just didn't feel like it was worth it for us to go in there and there were other there are other beach clubs that do not have a cover and don't have minimum spend that are just as nice it might not have like the big party scene and stuff like that um but yeah the food's nice you still get to walk on the beach and this you still get that similar vibe so after we went to the museum and we went to um the sculpture park we only had enough time to go to one um because it is a long strip keep yeah. that in mind it's a long strip they're not some of them are really close together but it is, it is a long strip so yeah. we ended up going to one called delic and i'm so glad we did yes. i am so glad <laughs> we did first of all no cover no minimum spend cool but the food there was probably the best food that was, we that was had. The best like, food we had that was, and I'm talking Rosa Negra too. Like, cause we yeah, went to, thanks. we went to. That's one of the popular beach clubs, Rosa Negra. We ended up going. We went to Delic. Best food. We got the, I think it was the steak tacos or something yeah, like we got that. The steak tacos. They were so good. We ordered a second round of the tacos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead and bring the next ones out. Yeah, and <laughs> then we also got their. It's called their not so pina colada. Mm -hmm. Um so good probably the best i'm telling you guys that the was the best, best pina colada we've I've ever, ever had, had. Yes. ordered another one of those too yes. and it's <laughs> alcohol free as well so mm. like if you don't plan on going to drink or anything like that mm. and you just want a night like a good drink that's not alcoholic that drink was so good we, we got two of those as well yeah had to <laughs> had to daisy was really trying to go back before <laughs> she was trying to go back yesterday we weren't even at the mm. beach clothes. she was like let's go back to let's Delic go back to the lick because it i'm telling you guys it was that good yeah the food was that good um, the drinks were that good. Mm -hmm. And uh, like we said, I mean, if you're not trying to do the party party 
buy bottles, buy bottles. Mm -hmm. You got to figure, you're still on the beach, so it's still super nice. Mm -hmm. We had a nice little uh, sunbed to ourselves in the shade, um, mm -hmm. and I'm sure we'll have clips for you to see that. But, yeah, it was it was still super nice. So yeah, for don't, sure. don't get bogged down that you need to be at a taboo, a bag of loom, a uh, mm -hmm. bag of loom, bag of tail, or nothing like that. It's still going to be nice. Yeah. Next time we come, though, we will be, we will be visiting we'll be taboo. Better, yeah, we'll be better prepared. <laughs> yeah, we just, for sure. We just didn't know. Mm -hmm. Next, let's talk about this new hotel that we're in. This is a Renault hotel. Very nice. It's beautiful. It's big. If you're coming in a big party, it's great. Um, or if you plan on cooking. If you plan on cooking, yes. <laughs> but if we were to compare this hotel to the other one now there's nothing wrong with your hotels it's totally personal preference this hotel we've specifically booked most for the aesthetics we wanted to have that little jungle feel so that's exactly what you're gonna get okay this hotel is just a lot more self-sufficient i'll mm -hmm. say and then the other one is a lot of the stuff is already done for you you just exactly. have to walk and get there like the moto they have food upstairs the pool is upstairs mm -hmm. there's two there's two pools here it's only one pool it's kind of smaller mm -hmm. um here um if you want any type of room service or things like that you have to let them know and think mm -hmm. just little things like that that yeah. like you don't have to do at moto because they they're constantly around the clock just like checking on you mm -hmm. and whatever so it's just one of those things yeah like if you want to do like more like family oriented stuff maybe this would be better for you yeah. because it's plenty spacious exactly. uh the kitchen amenities are good you can definitely cook here mm -hmm. um there's a top and bottom floor but moto like if you're coming like by yourself or if you're coming like with your husband wife partner or whatever or your other friend whatever mm -hmm. if it's only two of you um definitely would highly recommend the the moto, moto for sure. yeah for sure i did get locked in the bathroom <laughs> <laughs> here at sorrento i did get locked in the bathroom so make sure that uh somebody else is here because if daisy was not here mm -hmm. um i was going to be spending the night in the bathroom mm -hmm. <laughs> also one more thing about hotels before we move on both the hotels that we stayed in had that rainfall shower which is super cute but if you don't want your hair to get wet that is something you need to keep in mind yeah. have some type of shower cap or whatever i'm over here showering to the side <laughs> like, like so just keep that in mind i'm pretty sure there are other hotels that don't have rainfall mm -hmm. shower heads so yeah just something to keep in mind and last but not least maybe our favorite day was our little excursion the atv zip lining and cenote i'm gonna put in the description box where we booked it from but honestly 10 out of 10 experience i highly recommend you guys do some type of excursion while you're here also if it's your first time like it was ours just some things to make sure you bring have with you etc um so first things first for the atv um there's gonna be a lot of people trying to sell you the water shoes a bandana um some sunglasses you can you can easily buy all those things on amazon before you get here um just so that you have everything prepared and you don't have to worry about it i would also recommend bringing some type of waterproof phone case it's definitely going to come in handy if you're trying to capture some content get some memories some videos some pictures highly recommend having that especially for the cenote because obviously you're going to be getting wet make sure you also bring a towel because that's something we didn't do i don't know what we were thinking yeah. but we did not bring a towel with us so we just kind of had to dry off as we were walking they also give you some food at the end it's not a big gourmet meal but it's pretty good they give you like these little bean ta taquitos yeah. what is it Taquitos. Taquitos. Yeah. These little bean taquitos. It comes with rice and beans. Um, and they also are taking pictures of you the entire trip, um, mm. the entire excursion. So at the end, they're going to ask you if you want to buy them or not. I believe we paid uh, what, like, $20 a person. Yeah, $20 a person. So we end up paying $40 for all the pictures. So USD. USD. Yeah, USD. But yeah, you guys, that concludes the Tulum trip. Hopefully, we got enough content for you guys. Hopefully, it looks good. And hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys want to know any extra details, just go ahead and leave me some comments down below and i'll try to my best to get all the information for you guys but thank you guys so much for watching we really appreciate it and we'll see you guys in the next vlog